So the other day I was speaking with a client and he said to me, Mrs. Lane, why is it every time I speak with you, you sound so pleasant? Doesn't anything bother you? And I said, sir, yes, they do. But life itself is hard as it is. I just can't afford to add to that. And he said, you know, that's a great way to live. Mind you, this man is 73. Guys, at the end of the day, we have one life to live and we choose our battles. I know I serve a living God. I serve a God that Job served. And I know that it doesn't matter when me I go through, my God is bigger than my problems. And I've proven him for myself because I've gone through a lot of things. And the only reason why I'm here today is because of my faith in God. Yes, I'm a very spiritual person. I know that my God has my back. And if I should put my problems them on my head, then God will just leave them on there because it's telling him that I don't trust him enough to put my problems in his hand. Sometimes you just got to leave those problems alone. Yes, I'm a motivational speaker. Yes, there are days when I feel down. Yesterday was one of those days. And I had to take a walk and I had to look into the situation. And I said to myself, why am I going to stress myself over this? What can I do about it? There are some things you just that you just got to let go. You just got to let them be. You just got to put it in the hands of God. Job lost everything. Was one of the wealthiest men. And he lost everything. He, he lost just about everything. But he had faith in God. He had hope because he knew that as long as he had life, he had everything. And as long as he trusted and believed in God. See, there's Satan touched everything, but Satan just couldn't touch Job himself. He took away everything that he had. And sometimes we'll be in situations like that. We'll feel like we've lost everything. We feel like we've lost everyone. But where's your faith in God? Can you handle these things by yourself? So if you can't handle them, why don't you just give them to somebody else? Yeah, man, sometimes you just have to put your problems on a platter and say, Father, me know me can't handle them. I'm not strong enough to handle them. Here you go. Handle them for me. There's always hope. And if you don't feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, sometimes you just have to be that light in the tunnel. If you think you can't wait till you reach at the end, create the light. Create that light as if you're a lantern and shine that light so bright that every single problem that you face will seem so small and so insignificant. And they won't bother you so much because at the end of the day, what we focus on <coughs> is what we fuel. So if you keep focusing on your problems, they will get bigger. Yesterday, I had to drop my problems and said, no, life goes on. What am I going to bring this problem into tomorrow and feel this shitty? Excuse my French. No, I had to be a big girl. I had to drop them. I didn't suppress them, but I left them there in the hands of God. Believing in your God. Life, life is a beautiful thing. Just keep on believing.